Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and here is another question from the test paper on exponents. Simplify where possible, then evaluate. Express your solutions in a fraction in lowest terms. 4 over 5 to the power of 5 divided by 4 over 5 to the power of 7, 3 to the power of minus 2 divided by 2 to the power of minus 3, and then we have 3 to the power of minus 3 minus 3 to the power of minus 3 whole square. You can pause the video, solve, and then look into my solution. In the first case, 4 to the power of 5, 4 to the power of 5 is a common base. We are dividing, so we'll take away the powers. So we have here 4 over 5 to the power of 5 minus 7, correct? So 5 minus 7 is equals to minus 2. So we get 4 over 5 to the power of minus 2. Now we need to express our solutions as a fraction in lowest terms. And Preferably, this should also be positive, right? So, minus means reciprocal. So, this is equals to 5 over 4 square, right? So, that could be there. Then we can square this. And once we square, we get 25 over 16 as a solution, right? So, that is how we can do it. Now, let's look into the second one. Here we have... 3 to the power of minus 2, 2 to the power of minus 3. Now, 3 to the power of minus 2 means, let's write it like this, 3 to the power of minus 2 times 1 over 2 to the power of minus 3. Minus power means, minus means reciprocal. So this becomes 1 over 3 squared. And here, it becomes 2 cube, right? So that is how it is. Now, 2 cube is 8, right? So we could write this as 8 over 9. 3 squared is 9. So that is how you can simplify it. Now let's look into part C. 3 to the power of minus 3 means 1 over 3 squared minus 3 over minus 2 means 3 squared. I mean cube it is. I'm sorry, cube. We have all this to the power of 2. So that is how you can write the given expression. 3 to the power of minus 3 is 1 over 3 cubed. Now, what is 1 over 3 cube? It is 1 over 27, right? Minus 1 over 9 whole square. Now, we can take common denominator as 27. We get 1 minus 9 times 3 is 27. So, we get 3 whole square. That is equals to 2 over 27 whole square. Right? So, that is how you can write your expression. And 2 squared is 4. For 27, we can use the calculator and find it out. So we have 27 squared equals to 729. So that is the simplest form in which you can write the given fraction. I hope that helps. Thank you.